Hello, mathematicians. Today we are taking notes on section three, which is multiplying matrices. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to determine if it is possible to multiply matrices. You can't just multiply any two matrices. Then we're going to find the dimensions of the product, and then we're actually going to get to the multiplying. So first thing, you can multiply two matrices if the columns of the first matrix are the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So here's an example, A multiplied by B. First thing that I want you to do is write down the dimensions of both. A is 3 by 2, so 3 rows, 2 columns. B is 2 by 2. These two numbers have to be the same. Because they are the same, yes, it is possible. And then the dimensions of the product, so A multiplied by B, are going to be the first number and the last number. So A multiplied by B is going to be 3 by 2. Okay, now, look at this note. This is really important. A multiplied by B is not the same as B multiplied by A. So over here, let's look at B multiplied by A. B, we already said, is 2 by 2. A, we said, is 3 by 2. These two do not match, so this is not possible. So the order is very, very important. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. Examples 1 and 2, determine whether the product is defined and then state the dimensions. First thing, always write down the dimensions. So this first matrix is 3 by 1. Second matrix is 3 by 1. These do not match, so this is not possible. Second example, the first matrix is 3 by 4, 3 rows, 4 columns. The second one is 4 by 4, 4 rows, 4 columns. These two match, so yes, it is possible to multiply the matrices. This product will then have the dimensions 3 by 4. Okay, so here's an example for you to try. Take a minute, pause the video, write down the dimensions of the two matrices, and determine if it is possible to multiply them. And if it is, tell me the dimensions of the product, please. Come back after you have finished. Okay, I hope you've taken the chance to try this problem. The first matrix is 2 by 3. The second one is 3 by 1. These match, so yes, it is possible to multiply the matrices. The product will be 2 by 1. Okay, so now that we know when it is possible to multiply matrices, we're actually going to multiply the matrices. So here's the first example. First thing that you need to do is check whether or not it is possible to multiply the matrices. We are going to trick you sometimes, and it's not going to be possible. So the first matrix is 3 by 2. The second one is 2 by 2. These match. So yes, it is possible to multiply the matrices. Your answer, or the product, is going to be 3 by 2. Okay, now the multiplying part is pretty tricky. You want to multiply each row within the first matrix by each column in the second matrix. So you're going to have a big answer. So I'm going to do negative 6 multiplied by 2. So that comes from negative 6 multiplied by 2. And then I'm going to add 1 multiplied by 9. So that's 1 multiplied by 9. That's the first element. Then I'm going to do negative 6 multiplied by negative 5. So that comes from negative 6, negative 5. 
to that I'm going to add 1 multiplied by 8. Now going into the second row, it's going to be 3 multiplied by 2 this time. And I'm going to add negative 4 multiplied by 9. Then I'm going to have 3 multiplied by negative 5. So 3 and negative 5. I'm going to add negative 4 multiplied by negative 8. And then in my third row, I'm going to have 10 multiplied by 2. So 10 and 2. I'm going to add 0 multiplied by 9. My last element is going to be 10 multiplied by negative 5. So 10 and negative 5. I'm going to add 0 multiplied by negative 8. This is all going to be done without a calculator. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this a little bit, starting from this element. So that's going to be negative 12 add 9. Over here, I'm going to have 30 add 8. Next, I'm going to have 6 subtract 36. It's negative 4 and 9 is negative 36. Then I'm going to have negative 15, add 32. This is going to be 20, add 0. So remember, 0 multiplied by 9 is 0. Over here, I'm going to have negative 50, add 0. Last thing I want to do is actually simplify all of this. OK, so negative 12, add 9 is negative 3. 30, add 8 is 38. 6 subtract 36 is negative 30. Negative 15 add 32 is going to be 17. 20 add 0 is just 20. Negative 50 add 0 is negative 50. So this is our final answer, which we can see is a 3 by 2 matrix like we predicted. OK, so I know this is a little bit of a lengthy and complicated process. So we're going to do one more together, and then you guys are going to do one on your own. OK, this is the example three that we did. We said, yes, it's possible to multiply the matrices, because we said this is 2 by 3, this is 3 by 1. These match, so your product is going to be 2 by 1. So now let's actually find what that product is. Again, we're going to multiply each row by each column. OK, so here I'm going to have 7 multiplied by 1. I'm going to add 6 multiplied by 4. That comes from this 6 and this 4. Then I'm going to add negative 4 multiplied by 10. Now I'm going to go on to that second row. So 3 multiplied by 1. I'm going to add 2 multiplied by 4, which comes from 2 and 4. Then I'm going to add 0 multiplied by 10. OK, simplifying a little bit. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. I'm going to add 24. I'm going to subtract 40. Then I have 3, add 8, add 0. Again, this is, should all be done without a calculator. 7 add 24 is 31. 31 subtract 40 is negative 9. 3 add 8 is 11. OK, and this is 2 by 3, like we had originally said. So it's a little interesting that we end up with an answer matrix that does not have the same dimensions as either of the two that were in the original problem. Here's the last example that you, you are going to try. I'm looking for B multiplied by C. So if you would pause the video right now, take a minute or two without a calculator to calculate the product, please. Please show that the product is possible before you actually try it. Come back when you are finished. OK, welcome back. We're going to go over this. B is 2 by 3. C is 3 by 1. These match. That's good. So our answer product is going to be 2 by 1. And that comes from this 2 
and this one. Now we want to multiply each row of B with each column in C. In this case, there's only one column. Okay, so I should have done 5 multiplied by 5. It comes from this 5 and this 5. I'm going to add negative 7 multiplied by 6, and I'm going to add 10 multiplied by 2. That's my first row. Now I'm going to do 3 multiplied by 5. I'm going to add 0 multiplied by 6, so 0 and 6, and I'm going to add 1 multiplied by 2. Simplifying this, I get 25, add 42, add 20, bottom row 15, add 0, add 2. Last thing I want to do is simplify this a little bit more. 25 add 42 is going to be 67. 67 add 20 is going to be 87. 15 add 0 add 2 is 17. And again, it's just good. Is this what I had said that the product should be? Yes, I said it should be 2 by 1. This is a 2 by 1 matrix. I hope that went well for us. Okay, so this is what we did today. We determined when it's possible to multiply two matrices. And then we determined the product, the dimensions of that product. And then we actually multiplied matrices. So I thought this was kind of cool. I saw this on, on the internet today. This is the library at the University of Chicago. It's run by um, robots. So they have cranes. You look for a book online and the crane will pull it off of the shelf for you. So I thought that was interesting. And I will see you guys later in class. Bye.